Greetings, everyone. My name is Brandon Gibson. I am a second year student at Broward College majoring in information technology. Um, and I have the privilege of being the assistant to Ms. Sheila Martinez um, underneath President Hale. But why did I want to do this TED Talk, right? I remember since the beginning of time, since I since I knew what time was, right, um, the, the, the uh, entrepreneurship was embedded within my DNA. And, and I remember as a child vividly watching, right, the USA and Jamaica go head to head in the four by one relays. And I remember seeing the first leg and the second leg. And as they begin to pass the baton and it's going to the third leg, I began to think about the qualities of a great third leg runner, the most important um, leg in a relay race. Um, and it's somebody who is older, but more experienced. And what do they do? They pass the baton onto the fourth leg, anchor leg, someone who was typically younger, but less cultivated. And I think that same comparison can be drawn into the business world. The older generation represents that uh, third leg runner. And what do they do? They pass the baton on to the fourth leg runner, being the younger generation for what? Them to bring it home. But time again, that has proven to not be true. There's actually a disproportionate percentage in, 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 in businesses focusing more on the older generation and less on the younger generation. And time and time again, young entrepreneurs are always told, you are our future. You are the caretakers of our business but never given the substantive means to go about starting their own business. And we all know that it's not all pretty and fun and games and starting a business. There is a lot of uh, uh, unsexy things about starting a business because it's hard work. And, um, and, and I think that's what allows a lot of businesses to fail. They say uh, about a half of the uh, half percentage or 50% of businesses fail within um, the first year. All right. Um, if you make it past the second year, you're doing something good. And so in my TED talk, um, I address these issues of how we can overcome those barriers of young entrepreneurs feeling like they are, are ill-equipped to start their own business, right? Because it doesn't start right? When you're 25 and 30, I believe it should start when you're in middle school, when you're in high school, uh, and even realistically, it should start in elementary school. Because if you uh, get these students on track, by the time they're 20, 21, 23 years old, they're already ready to start a great business.